Uh, hi, my name is Tommy Kirkland. I'm at Susan Baranowski Correctional Center. I'm testifying today in support of the jail and prison construction moratorium on Bill S-1979. I urge the committee to report this bill out favorably, favorably and work to pass it as, in law as soon as possible, as they've been having bi-weekly meetings to build a 50 million prison for women and a $21.5 million jail for boys and talks. According to the numbers, Mass has one of the lowest, incar lowest incarceration rates in the country, as well as the lowest among incarcerated women. Of the 200 women incarcerated as, at the state's only female facility, 20% 20, 20 are pretrial deta um, detention, and probably because of their bails are excessive. And the other and 20 percent is have aged to the point that becoming a recidivist is extremely low, so they should be released on some type of supervision if possible. So besides spending $50 million on a new prison, why not put programs in place that could help make prisons unnecessary to begin with, like substance abuse treatment, mental health services, education, trade, and, and things of that nature. And the same could be said about the boys' jail. A lot could be done for plenty of communities with that $71.5 million dollars if it's used on program instead of locking people up. Like when I was in sixth grade in Springfield, Massachusetts, my middle school had a program called mock trial, which was like related to courtrooms and things. And that was like the best thing. All I wanted to do was be a lawyer. By seventh grade, that program was pulled probably due to the lack of funding. And due to, this, due to its absence in my young mind and my surroundings, I quickly lost my direction. And within the next two to three years, I went from wanting to be a lawyer to needing a lawyer to represent me in juvenile court, criminal court. I'm not testifying here wholly to blame my current status on the absence of the program, but it's possible that if programs like that stayed in place, it could have given a little boy like me more hope and more options in which I could have made better choices and my life could have turned out better. And that's the same as a lot of other little boys. I strongly believe that using that money to invest in the communities to help reduce crime and recidivism, which will dismantle this notion that more prisons need to be built. It's obvious that building these prisons is instead investing in propelling mass incarceration, which will result in over-policing black and brown communities to arrest and incarcerate their women and children to fill up the prison now. And that's gonna feed the, suburb the suburban economy that those black and brown people will be housed in. Mass incarceration is not making this country a better place. So invest in people, not prisons. My name is Tommy Kirkland. Thank you for your testimony, Mr. Kirkland.